All right, Shalom to the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Baka Chodash. Double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders. A great millstone and teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide, that's in the faith. And exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka, Chodash, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. Uh, so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a quick lesson. Okay, while well, you know, while I'm on my break. And basically, I'm going to um, start off with the book of Proverbs, chapter 18. Okay, touching on verse 10. Okay, as it reads, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And the righteousness runneth into it and is safe. Okay. And us that's in the faith. Okay. That he had great millstone. We have been taught the proper name. Okay. Of the heavenly father. Who the world calls God. Which his name is Yahweh in the Hebrew. Okay. Meaning he is or he exists. Okay. And the son name as well in the Hebrew. Okay. Meaning Yahweh Shai. Who the word ignorant called Christ, man. Okay, which Yahweh Shai name in the Hebrew is he is the deliverer. Okay. And those names are uh, key, okay, to have in these times ahead, man. Okay, as, as the Lord name and uh the Lord, the name of the, the Heavenly Father and the Son and the Spirit that comes with that, okay, is going to be our defense in the times that we're about to head into, man. Okay, which we know that we're heading to the time of Jacob's trouble. According to Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7, man. And that name, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son is going to be a, a covering, man. Okay. Unto us of that election, man. Of that hopeful number. Okay. Because only the Lord is going to deliver a remnant, which will consider the 144,000 and the one third that's destined to be saved. Okay. Of that election. In the times that we're about to enter into. Okay. We're coming in the time of uh, pestilence. Okay, more pestilence. Yeah, you can see what's going on now. As you can see, the CV19, they starting to bring that more back into the, you know, the top of the discussion now. Okay, we see what happened uh, over three years ago during the time of 2020. Okay, now they're talking about, you know, a uh, coming of another uh, lockdowns, man. Okay, more strict legislations. Okay, we also know that we're coming to the time of a financial crash. And that these elites, okay, when I say these elites, the elites of Esau, Edom, the so-called white race, mainly the elites, like I say, as they ready to push forth the NWO, okay, to, um, to bring in a, a new digital system, okay, when he, all the, with all these talks of the CBDC, okay, central bank digital currency, and that's, uh, that's going to lead to the, the implementation of the RFID micro, the CHIP, what we call here at Great Millstone which is known as Revelation chapter 13, verse 16. And what's gonna come behind that? Okay, more strict legislations. Okay, the coming of martial law. Okay, the coming of uh, civil unrest, civil wars, clash wars, race wars. Okay, all this is the the working of Yahweh Bashem Shah bringing judgment, especially, especially to this place, America. Okay, which is known as Babylon the Great in the scriptures, man. And majority of our people are going to get caught up into it when it comes to the two-thirds, man. So once again, the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay, of the elect, okay, that destined to be saved, is going to be covered in the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let me get this. I'm going to get the book of Zechariah, chapter 13, verse 8. Because only a remnant is going to be delivered. Okay? Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And that's going over, talking about over here in America. Okay? Two thirds of our people. When we mention the two thirds, that's where we get the scripture, the, the scripture from. Okay? Uh, this is where we get the understanding of the two thirds from the scripture. Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8. And it says, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. And it's going to Negroes, Latinos, and Native American descent, or the wicked of our people, man. Okay? The two-thirds of them. And it says, and as I may mention, man, they're going to be judged by various 
ways, okay, or, or these plagues that's about to hit, okay? And mainly, also, the ones of our people, I got to make mention of this, that's why we always get that stern warning. The ones of our people that take that RFID micro, okay, that see help, according to Revelation chapter 14, verse 9, they're going to be destroyed, man. Okay, by the way of thermonuclear destruction at the peak of the Third World War, and at the same time when Yahweh Shai return, when it comes to his second coming, by the way of what the world call UFOs, which are the chariots, that are the angels, or the vehicles of the angels, how Yahweh Shai is going to come back and bring war, okay, at the peak of the Third World War, and the missiles are going to be launched, and simultaneously you're going to have Yahweh Shai delivering the elect from that destruction. But the ones of our people that take that MOTB, they're going to be destroyed in the presence of Yahweh Bashmiah Shai and the whole the heavenly host of the angels when those missiles are going to be launched. Because this place, America, is totally going to be annihilated by thermonuclear destruction. Okay? That's another reason why we have to have that covering of Yahweh Bashmiah Shai that we are that election, man. Okay? And that starts with the name and the, and the names and the spirit that, that, that come with the name. And how we conduct ourselves, okay, in this ministry and ultimately in this faith, man, okay, why we in this grace period. But Zechariah chapter 13, verse 8, and it said, It shall come to pass that in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The third represents the elect, the 144,000, and the one third that's destined to be saved of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent, okay, here in America and also worldwide. Well, we are scattered, okay? Continue on. And it says, verse 9, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and we will find them as silver is refined, and we will try them as gold is tried. Okay, that's what we in the process of that happening now, as we in this calling through the ministry. Okay, Yahweh Bashimah Shah is waking up the elect, by the way, of the prophets. Okay, and at the same time also, the Lord, you know, uh, trying us as we are being purged from our sins. Okay, daily. Okay, and ultimately we're looking for Yahweh Shah on the return, and that we'll be worth found worthy to be a uh, salvation. Okay, as we're coming into the trying times. Okay, the trials and tribulations, but also it is going into when the Lord delivered the elect from out of the destruction from those missiles. Okay, especially to this place, America. And it says, and it says, and um, and they shall call on my name, okay, once again, the name. And I will hear them, and I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my God. And that's what the Lord going to do for the elect, okay, for for the elect believing on Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man, and trusting in the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son, which is going to be our defense and our covering that day, man, okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get, um, I'm about Now get ready to close. I'm gonna get about two more scriptures. And it says that there we go. Ecclesiasticus or the book of Sirach, chapter 17, verse 10. And it says, uh, I'll start at verse 9. And it says, And he gave them glory in his marvelous acts forever, that that they might declare his works with understanding. And the elect shall praise his holy name. So once again, the elect is going to have the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Okay? Matter of fact, Revelation, where well, chapter 14 goes into how the Lord is going to have his, his name sealed in the elect, um, to start with the elect men, okay, on head, okay, in their mind. Okay, when it comes to the 144,000, man. Okay? Not only the, the Heavenly Father name, but the Son name as well. Okay? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So the elect is going to praise the holy name of the Heavenly Father and the Son when it comes to the faith, the worship, okay, and also the deliverance, okay, in the times that we're about to head into, man, okay? So the elect is going to have the name because you got camps out here that's not pushing or exalting the names of, exalting the name, the, the exalting the name of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Now I get this and I get ready to close. Wisdom of Solomon chapter, what, 3, verse 9. And it read, 
uh, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, as such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for the grace and mercy is to his saints, and he had care for his elect. So that's the, the power of Yahweh Bashimah Shah and the word of the Lord, man. Okay, so grace and mercy is going to be shown to the saints, okay, which we know the saints represent Israelites, but at this time only the one third, which we'll consider the elect. Start with the 144,000 and a great multitude that make up the rest of the one third that's destined to be saved, okay? And with that, Yahweh Bashimah Shah is going to give the elect to be saved to call upon his holy name, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson been edifying to the, uh, the elect of the nation of Israel. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom.